Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm your man, Jay. And today we're going to be going over the shortcut keys and all the iOS trackpad gestures for the Shisona keyboard case for your iPad Air and your iPad Pro. All right, stay tuned. Now, before we get into this video, I just want to say thanks for stopping by. And if tech is what you're into, then please consider subscribing because it is free. Do not forget to hit that like button because it will help the channel grow. Make sure you leave a comment so that I can know that you're here in the building with me. And make sure you hit that notification bell. That way you can be notified when I drop any video on this channel. All right, let's get right into this video. Okay, guys, so I suggest that you get you some popcorn and something to drink because this video may be long. I want you guys to know that I will be referencing the actual uh, manual right here. And we're going to go through each one of these shortcut keys. Um, as you can see right here, we're going to go through each shortcut key. And after we get done with the shortcut keys, we're going to go right through. And we're going to do the trackpad iOS gestures. You know, I've been uh, trying to do some of these uh, gestures myself. And uh, they actually do work. But I want to make sure I show you guys that they actually work okay so we're going to go through a couple of features straight through the manual probably about three to four pages of this and then uh yeah we'll wrap this video up all right okay guys so let's go ahead and take a look at the shortcut keys which is right across the top here hopefully you guys can see this those are the shortcut keys across the top i showed you guys the manual we should have a manual popping up on the screen uh for you guys here as far as shortcut keys go so you can kind of follow along okay so we have the main screen here and what that does is make sure the keyboard is on. Keyboard is on and the cursor is there. So this right here is the main screen button. So let's just say if we were in, um, you know, Apple Music or something, we can go here and press that button and it'll take us back to the home screen. Next is the brightness up and down. So we have our brightness levels up and down, just like that. Next is the search button, as you can see, search pops up there close that out next is the select all and copy and paste and cut okay so select all copy paste and cut so i open up a notes document here and i'll scroll down here to the bottom two fingers two fingers so we'll scroll down to the bottom and i'm just going to type uh thank you thank you for watching okay so um, let's just say if I double click all of this just to get it all highlighted and let's say the next button is select all. So I've already selected all, even though I know select all works as you can see right here. So select all does work, um, which highlights everything. I'm just do it this way. Why not select all then copy. So I copied it. I press copy and then paste. So if I go down here and I hit paste. It pasted it again, as you can see. And if I press it again, it just continues to keep pasting it. Um, and you can also cut it. So if I uh, double tap and highlight everything, I can actually cut something. As you can see, it cut right there. So uh, that works. Let's get back to the home. After the cut, we have previous track, next track. So let's go into Apple Music. Um, hopefully, I don't get a copyright strike by uh, Drake. But we'll go ahead and previous track, play, pause, and next track. So We'll press play. It is, um, okay, let me make sure it's working. Okay. Pause, we'll go to next track. Uh, press play. Pause, go back a track, and it's back to Drake. So let's go back to the home. After that, we have the mute button, which is right here. So as you can see across the top, it says mute. Let me turn it back up. So volume, and then if I press it, you see it says mute. Volume and mute, volume and mute right there. Uh, after the volume and mute, after the mute, we have the volume down and then we have the volume up. And then we have screen lock, which is that button there. Um, you press the screen lock and it comes back here. And then the last button is delete, which is for when you're uh, typing or something to that effect. You can, let me get back in here. Come on, come on, let me get back in here. So like if you're typing or something, and I want to just delete that line. I can just hit delete like this and it can, you know, delete that way. Or you can, you know, press backspace on the keyboard either way. So that was a quick little overview of the shortcut keys. Let's move right along. 
Okay, so continuing on, we're going to be looking at the manual. Next, we're going to change the backlight color and the brightness of the actual keyboard. So the keyboard, you have three uh, brightness levels right here, as you can see, two and three. Those are the three brightness levels. And to change the actual color, you will press the brightness key here and you will press up or down on the actual keypad. So we have a few colors here. We have red, we have green, kind of like a uh, blue, um, another kind of like greenish color, uh, purple, some kind of cyan color and so forth. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it back to blue. But the colors are right here. So you guys can see that. You got blue, green, red, cyan, purple, yellow, and white. So those are the actual colors. Keyboard is amazing. This thing is really nice, y'all. This thing is really amazing. It looks like a real laptop. I'm sorry I had to just throw this in there, but I really enjoy this setup. Like this, I really enjoy this setup, guys. So let's just move right along. Okay, you guys, moving right along to the iOS trackpad gestures. There are about 17 trackpad gestures, so we're gonna go through these as quick as possible. So let's get right into that. First off, we have the regular press and click. So if you go to just an app, you click, it'll open up the app. Second, we have the click and hold feature. You just click on an app and hold it. Let me do it again. Click on an app and hold it, and you'll get your uh, menu as far as editing, share, deleting, and so forth. Uh, next, we have the open dock feature. So I'm gonna just go to a, uh, let's go to a web page and the docs at the bottom. If you swipe down, it opens up the dock. Uh, next, we have the slide overview. So we'll open up this app. We're on my wife's uh, personal training website. Um, if we sw swipe or slide to the right like this, it should open it up. And if we slide again, it should close it. Uh, next, we have click and drag. So if you take uh, and click left click or whatever the case on an app you can slide it and drag it around the home screen uh, next we have the wake iPad feature so if it's in I guess if it's in like the lock mode you can wake it just like that let me get back in here um, after the wake iPad feature we have the go home feature so if you're in like an app you can do two fingers swipe down let me get this right two finger swipe swipe I'm sorry one finger swipe down and you can go back to the home I apologize uh, after that we have the open control center so if you go up into the right hand corner and you swipe you can open up the control center then next we have open up the notification center so if you go to the top and swipe down I mean swipe type I'm sorry go to the top and swipe up uh, you can get to the notification center just like that uh, what else after that we have the scroll left and right so you can scroll left and right with two fingers Just like that next we have the go home feature. So if I'm in an app Let's just say I'm in here. You take three fingers and you swipe up and it should take you back to the home screen We have the open the today view um, Which is on the home screen. So if you are let's just say if you didn't have it up and you swipe two fingers to the right or to the left, it'll pull it over. I'm sorry, to the left, it'll pull up your today view. Um, we also have secondary clicks, so with two fingers, um, it'll show the quick action menus for icons. So if you two finger, kind of the same as press and hold to me, unless I'm doing it wrong, but that's secondary click. Then we have scroll up and down. Um, as far as like, you know, if I'm in like a web page, let's go into a web page. Uh, we can scroll up and down with two fingers, up and down just like that. Uh, we can switch between open apps with three fingers. So if you scroll down a little bit to the bottom, um, you can scroll through and pick a different app right here like that um, and go back to different, you know, other apps. I still got to work out those kinks. And last but not least, to open up the search while you're in the home screen, you just swipe up and you can open up the search. All right, guys, those were the uh, gestures. Okay, guys, those were the iOS trackpad gestures found right here in the manual. However, I am still working out the kinks on some of them, just trying to make sure I understand them. But I just wanted to make sure I showed you guys that this uh, keyboard case does support those gestures as far as iOS uh, gestures are concerned. Um, I showed you guys the lighting on the keyboard, and I also showed you guys the shortcut row. So 
Um, if you've enjoyed this video and taken something that you're into, please consider subscribing. Do not forget to hit that like button because it will help the channel grow. It's been your man Jay, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.